Get over here! All right, so that's uh, Biff Atlas. Oh, that's so nice. He models for um, Angor. That's, uh, what's her face again? Is that Melanie? No, it's not Melanie. It, Is it uh, Lydia? Or Melody. Um, it, it's uh, the lady who was checking herself in the mirror. Lydia. Lydia. All right. Um, I don't see anything else. You know, that never... Or maybe the, maybe those those three little figures that you see in the shelf there, maybe the, that's the toys, the clockwork soldiers. I can see that, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Van Gore's room is actually kind of cool. Okay, so welcome everyone to the finale of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. I'm the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. Oscar, and... this isn't where, uh, didn't we already get the boo in this room? Uh, yeah, okay, so... <laughs> Um, during our last recording session, I was an idiot, and, uh, I didn't save, and I died. And as a result, I lost some progress. So... It, it wouldn't be very exciting to show that footage, so we just started it over. And yeah, we got back up to where we were. Yeah, pretty much. Also, we, I, we kind of have lives. Yeah, we're not... Isn't it weird to go back to a game that sends you back to the last time you made? Yeah, we take saved? that for granted because usually people like we're so used to auto saving. Even Pokemon has auto saving. Yeah, like we're so used to auto saving nowadays that we don't we take for granted that feature now because back then you had to save your game yeah. before a boss fight or anything because if you died you go back to the last save. Final Fantasy was notorious. Yeah for that R rpgs still do that or like if you're playing a game that's specifically meant to be hard like, like dark souls with its bonfires but yeah we just we weren't thinking about it at the time mm -hmm. but yeah we have to come in here because like the, the last boo that we needed to find was in the treasure room but in re in the process of me basically replaying a lot of what we lost i got that boo without thinking but yeah so we basically saved this last boo for this area and yeah, this is the final boo in the game. Boutique. Um, funny enough, like this, like I, I've explained this earlier. This will be the first time I will ever, ever have gotten all of the boos in the game because um, yeah, I've never bothered every other time. Well, it's not that I never bothered. I actually did try uh, to get all the boos in um, in the game, but as I explained a couple of episodes ago, um, I never knew about the treasure room during my oh, first so few times trying it, so I never actually found that boo. You can only get up to 49, I guess. Exactly, and that frustrated me to no end, knowing that there was a boo that I couldn't freaking find because there was some, like maybe some room that I didn't that I didn't know about, and I could never figure it out. So that that was a thing. Man, I did not miss this going through wall stuff. Yeah, me neither. Also, but, did you know that, um, so, uh, these highest level boos actually have more HP than any other enemy in the game? Oh, yeah. Including the final boss. Really? Yep. Huh. King Boo, you need to step up your game a bit. Yeah, King Boo's like 200, I think. That being said, the final fight against King Boo in this game is actually kind of challenging. It's a difficulty spike. Y you can kind of bumble through most of the game, but you have to know what you're doing with King Boo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but here we go. Okay, this should be the last stretch. I should be able to get him here. There we go. And he drops that... I, f I still don't know what that gem is. Um, it's my favorite character from Steven Universe, Boo Diamond. Ugh. Really? Also, before I said I've never bothered to get all of them, what I should have said is I never boothered. Stop it. The, 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 Luigi's Mansion started it. Okay, complaint number three about Luigi's Mansion 3. None of the boos have names. They do. Oh, wait, do they? Yeah. Oh, what am I thinking of? Why do I think they don't have names? You might be thinking Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. No, they had names in that one, too. I'm just being crazy, I guess. Yeah, because, like... I, I, okay, so... As of this video, I, I have... I'm, I'm misremembering. No, as of this video, I have started playing Luigi's Mansion 3, and so far I am liking it. I do remember uh, when I found one of the boos, uh, the dialogue was, I'm a Booigi. I'm a number one. Hmm. One of us is going to have to change. <laughs> and I was like, that, that tickled me. Why do I think the boo... Oh, no, I'm, I'm thinking again about how the, the boss ghosts don't have bios. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Speaking of which, yeah, this is, this is the game where... How do you check it again? X? Z. That's Z. it. So yeah, like, this pretty much tells us that we pretty much got everything that we could in this game. Um, a lot of numbers. 
But, uh, particularly, we have this. Yeah, this is... I would really have liked something like this in Luigi's Mansion 3. I again. agree, just, because... Just to give it that little extra bit of character. Uh, that little bit of charm, yeah, they, as it were. They don't need it, but, like, this is neat. Yeah, it is. Um, let's actually check some of these out while, like... This is the last episode. All we have left is gonna be the final boss. Which, by the way, guys, we're not gonna be answering any questions this episode. Yeah, sorry. Um, we're pretty much going to be dedicating the rest of this, uh, this finale to the final boss <laughs> and basically... Bringing a conclusion <laughs> to this Unless game. your question is, will we beat Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> in which the answer to that is yes. But let's check some of these guys out, actually. I'm actually... Uh, it's been a while. The Bookish Father Nev Neville. Is it Neville or Neville? Neville. Neville? Okay. Yep. Uh, 42 years old. Neville spends his afterlife reading all the books he missed while living. I know a few people who could be like that. Yeah, like, that's probably what I would do if I was a ghost. Really? I, I think that would be up there. I figured that I figured you'd be like me in that sense, but it's instead of like books, it's video games. Like not exclusive to books, it would just be like consuming media, pretty much in all forms. Uh, the mere gazing mother Lydia, thirty four years old, she stashed her secret savings away to prepare for for her long afterlife. I'm pretty sure we, I'm pretty sure we, uh, we pillaged that. Yeah, that's supposed to be your clue to like remember to look around for things. Uh huh. The spoiled baby Chauncey, one year old, was he? He cries loudly and never sleeps through the night, but since he was a bo he was born a ghost, this seems natural. Okay, I was gonna say, like, this could get into some really creepy context because, oh my god, it's a baby who died. But no, he was apparently... Ba ghosts can be born? I mean, if... I guess if two ghosts conceive a child, the child is a ghost. Uh... I guess. Do ghosts... Does ghost anatomy work like that? Or... Does... Or is that he was born a ghost mean that Chauncey was to be a human child, but he... There was a complication. And okay, he was... let's step away from that Th a little This bit. game is great for creepypastas. I'm sorry to be more. Oh, no, it totally is. Like, we already discussed the Luigi hanging himself bit. Um, the dancing couple, the floating Whirlindas. Once the local waltz champions, they can no longer compete since their feet don't touch the floor. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> that is cute. Um, the wandering butler shivers, 72 years old. He wanders the house, endlessly searching for his master's will. He hopes he's included in it. <laughs> Aw. I like that one. I like shivers a lot. That, that's a cute one. I like his big stupid face. The beautiful pianist Melody Pianissima, 26 years old. Despite playing moving melodies, she has a surly disposition. Oddly enough, she loves video games. Yeah, because she played. Uh, the, the, she plays Mario music. Yeah, she when, knows all the Mario music. Uh huh. Th this is someone I probably would have would have hung out with if she was actually alive. Did Did you have a ghost crush, Oscar? Excuse me. A ghost crush. Okay, yeah, I'll admit. When I first started playing this game, I'll admit to liking this character a lot, but maybe not top ten crushes material. She's about your age now. I mean. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Actually, twenty six years old. Okay, and moving on. Add her to the list. Stop it. The freaky fortune teller, Madame Clairvoya, her close connection to the spirit world lets her see nearly 49 days into the future. <laughs> That's so specific. Is there, is there a reference there? Um, I don't, I don't know. Is there, like, I'd understand if maybe it was 42, because that's the, end, if the answer to the, to, uh, life, the universe, and everything, but 49? Does that mean that Luigi's Mansion takes place over the course of about 49 days, because she sees... A vision of... I'm not sure. That, that, because... that seems like too long for Luigi to be exploring this one mansion. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, that's more than a month, and it seems like this place isn't a perpetual night. The glutton Mr. Lugs, 30 years old. He prefers all-you-can-eat buffets to three meal a, meals a day. He ate himself to death, but he still wasn't satisfied. Ugh. He died as he lived. Morbidly obese. <laughs> you ever see the, um... Monty Python's Meaning of Life and Mr. Christo. Um, I might have. That, that's kind of what he reminds me of. Huh. See, see, I was going in the direction of uh, what the spy says in Team Fortress 2. That's one of his domination quotes. Oh, yeah, against Heavy. Yeah. The hungry do guard dog Spooky, Spooky, four years old. This creepy canine will sink its chops into anything, any seemingly edible thing in sight. Well, okay then. Ghost he, pupper. He's a ghost pupper. This is the biggest question mark in the entire game. The Cemetery Shadow Bogmire, a product of the mansion's fear and despair. He's not sure who to fear or what to despair of these days. 
Yeah, so there, there's a lot of, like, there, there's theory a, crafting about him, too. Yeah, because he's, he's easily one of the, if not the most unique ghost in this entire game. Maybe, like he's why everybody in the mansion's coming back as ghosts. That's what a lot of people say. Um, like, he's, like, uh, basically the manifestation of fear and despair that yeah. the mansion has. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the ghosts actually, like, crafted the mansion after, like, some real-life thing. And that's also the reason why all of the portrait ghosts, like, seemingly have, um, how do you say seemingly there's a there's like a lot of these real world people who used to live or whatnot and then they're just ghosts here in what used to be a real mansion maybe oh i've just received a note from my beautiful wife who looked up 49 days is a is it is this a film or a novel it's a korean tv series okay super famous called a 49 days about a woman who um she's comatose but i guess she the Reaper intervenes in her life. It, it, it's a reference. Like, she has, like, 49 days to, like, do a thing, see the future. Huh. That is a very obscure reference if that's the case. Might not be so obscure to a Japanese team. Oh, is it a Japanese film? South Korean. TV oh, film. South Korean? Huh. Wow. Well, maybe. Maybe. Thanks for that. I mean, that is, like, kind of spiritual, yeah. Okay, well, that answers that question. As for the question for Bogmire, we're still not sure. The bodybuilder Biff Atlas, 26 years old. This kind of built, this kind bodybuilder loves muscles and lilies. Why lilies? They symbolize purity. Aw, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> He's got a sensitive side. I like that. The bathing beauty Miss Petunia, the the Miss Ghost Runner Up from six years ago. She hasn't had much modeling work lately. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Um, moving on. The scarf knitting granny Nana, 76 years old. She's as old as uh, she's as old as Shivers. Uh, she's still knitting the scarf she's never finished in life. It now stretches to 100, 871 feet. That's pretty funny. That, that's that's cute. Now, do they stay the age that they're at when they become ghosts? I can only imagine that they do. And if that's the case, then how did Chauncey get to be one year old if he was born a ghost? I guess if you're born a ghost, you still age or maybe you age until a certain point i mean if by for all intents and purposes he could only be like zero years old but they just made one year because you know that's the start i don't, yeah. I don't know oopsie <laughs> my bad make him ah. one year older they'll ask too many questions the lonely pool shark slim, slim bank shot i love that that's name. a great name 29 years old slim's a legend in the world of competitive pool too bad he's never played a living soul but um tish I guess he plays solo, maybe. I don't know. Or he plays other ghosts. The twin brothers, Henry and Orville, five years old. The twins like to play hide-and-seek, but since they both hide, the game never seems to end. I, I love what you mentioned previously with the fact that they're on a plane in a car. Yeah, because so, uh, Henry Ford and Orville write. That's really clever, in my opinion. Yeah. I like that a lot. Jumbo Ghost Bulosis. When the shy, timid boos get together, their body and their attitude get big. Honestly, like, this is, like, the kind of the renaissance of the booze. They got far less timid after this game. Yeah, there was a lot more... Like, like they actually started getting legitimately spooky. Yeah, there was a lot more booze stuff after Luigi's Mansion. I kind of appreciate that. The jar collector, Jarvis. He loves his antique jar so much that he now lives in one. He can hardly contain <laughs> himself. <laughs> that's so good! That's so bad. Oh, that's so good! That's terrible. Oh, well played, Luigi. Absolutely Mansion. not. Well played. No, no. The dozing girl Sue P, seven years old. What was meant to be a short nap seems to have turned into e an eternal rest for sweet Sue P. That's a little sad. Well, she was the one that like didn't want us to disturb her, right? Mm -hmm. she, she was, was the get. She was the ceiling. She was in the guest room too. Like, what happened there? I, I think they're doing kind of like an exorcist thing with her. Also, also her pigtails are going that up. So, like. This picture could be taken upside down. That is true, actually. Um, let's save this guy for last. Um, the chili climber Sir Weston, 30 years old. This strange fellow's icy abode may be the reason he hasn't warmed up to being a ghost. <sighs> that one wasn't he and, Jar he and Jarvis should have coffee together. No, Jar Jarvis is on a whole nother level of pun. Uh-huh. The Toy Platoon Clockwork Soldiers. They once belonged to a tightly wound toy collector. <laughs> tightly wound. Wow. But now they march on, on their own without any winding. See, this is a situation of, um... 
a poltergeist type of a uh, ghost. Because uh, um, I, I was watching uh, Loxton and Noggin's, like, not ghost type video. Yeah. And he, in that video, he explained all the different types of ghosts. Like, a lot of these ghosts uh, would definitely be, like, you know... Uh, spirits, yeah, that, spirits uh, of the dead, yeah, spirits of the dead wandering around. But this is a this is a case of a poltergeist who is, which is a ghost that possesses objects. Yeah, um, maybe Jarvis fills that role a bit too. Um, but ki kind of, sorta, but not really. Maybe he he seems a lot less human mm -hmm. than the other ghosts. And then there are the boos who, for all intents and purposes, are basically specters. Well, in Harry Potter, the way they dis they make the distinction in that is that ghosts are people who died and for whatever reason their spirit didn't pass on so they stay on the earth as ghosts yeah. but then poltergeists are like a different creature entirely and it's born that kind of spectral being and huh. that's the difference between a ghost and a poltergeist interesting so like peeves was a poltergeist and peeves was just always peeves gotcha yeah no from what i understand poltergeists are the ones that like haunt a uh a location and they like basically take control of objects yeah. and things like that that that's why i think the clockwork soldiers and then like the booze who haunt all the time and spook all the time these guys are specters straight up i yeah i think booze are just always booze i don't think they were dead and became a boo i think they yeah. were always booze yeah um if you were to categorize them in like how we see ghosts in the real world they would be specters like hands down i think there's a single line in paper mario from a boo that suggests that, like, this boo was a living thing once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um, what's the Goomba's name again? Oh, oh, uh, Goombario. Goombario mentions yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, he meant some, mentioned something of, like, something something has memories of when he was still living. And exactly. that's like, what? Yeah, that, that raises up a whole lot of questions. <laughs> but Mario anyway, let, let's move on before we get on another tangent. Hermit of the Darkness, Uncle Grimly, 45 years old. Adrift in the darkness, he tends to keep to himself, which suits the rest of the family just fine. <laughs> yeah, he's a big grump. Yeah. Eh, that's all right. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me one second. I need to, um... Oh, uh, the, the jingle jangle? <laughs> yeah, my puppy, I left her collar on, the so puppy she's jingle jingle. jangle. All right, give us a moment, guys. All right, we're back. Um, so the last artist, uh, the last ghost who is an artist, uh, the starving artist Vincent Van Gore. Not gonna lie, like, as much as I don't like puns, I actually kind of appreciate the uh, play on words there. 59 years old, despite failing to sell a single painting in 30 years, his stubborn this stubborn man refuses to let his art die. Well, if, if all the rest of these ghosts were any indication of that, that's certainly the case. I looked up real quick if uh, uh, Vincent Van Gogh was actually... Um, actually only lived to be 57, but no, he, 50, what did it say he was? 59? 59. Uh, Van Gogh committed suicide at 37, so. Ah, I thought okay. maybe that was a specific reference to him, but no. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the name is just purely for the artistry yeah. type of thing. But anyway, we spent 20, we spent almost 20 minutes, like, <laughs> discussing all of that. Let's get to the final boss, shall we? But I mean, think about how much time they spent writing all of it. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. They, like, they cared about this. I, I like the fact that we can go back to this game and appreciate like what it does like I, I i like this game a lot honestly it, it's kind of weird because i'll i'll get more into detail about it like uh during the credits when we kind of like discuss our overall thoughts of this game um but there's something about luigi's mansion that i feel is a little timeless that granted i haven't beaten uh luigi's mansion 3 yet um no Nitro okay. Rad explained it really well, I think, where he said it's an example of a game that was an okay game that aged really well. I as agree. opposed to a great game that aged poorly. Yeah. Like, I, I still think this is a great game overall. Yeah. Like, it's not the greatest game, mind you. Certainly not. But there's was, something about it that really resonates with not just, like, people of the GameCube era, but, like, you can pick this game up now, and I still think it lives up to standards. Yeah, even with other Luigi's Mansion games out now, there's nothing that feels quite like this first Luigi's Mansion game. I completely agree. And this is where it all ends. I'm curious, though. Oh, dang! The last okay, gem try and pull it towards in you the game. Nice. I can guarantee I've never gotten that gem I, before. Honestly, I came in here, i never gotten that gem before either. I was curious. That was a spur of the moment decision. That was a spur of the moment decision, and I wonder if you can do the same with the others. Oh my gosh. I didn't think it would let you move into the room this far. 
I gotta trigger it a little bit. Uh, a little lower. No. Um, Honestly, like, I'm shocked that I'm able to do this. Yeah, I thought he interrupted you, like, as soon as you took oh, a few there we steps go. into the room. Oh, oh well. Well, I don't, I don't think there were any in there. Ah, I could just stare at my Mario painting for hours. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. <laughs> he reminds me, of, he's like Mario painting. It's like he, like, bought art of something at a con <laughs> and it's just like covering it is that what con goers do with their <laughs> with the with the merch they find they just put it up and stare at it for hours ah this official sailor moon figurine <laughs> is exquisite <laughs> and now i'm suddenly imagining uh, Ma super mario in a sailor moon outfit and i want that out of my head let's King, move on king boo's just a big weeb absolutely not the way you plead for help, Mario. I find it so satisfying. Perhaps it is merely because I remember how much trouble you've cost me in the past. Seriously, though, who would actually believe that mansions get given away in contests? Talk about stupid. What do you? What do they feed you, Mario Brothers, anyway? Gullible soup? Your brother came all this way just to get turned into a painting. It's just terrific. However, this Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then my gallery will be truly complete. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, fool. I only fear that infernal Poltergeist 3000 you carry on your back, stupid machine. But I am a king among booze. I swear it, I shall fear no mere house cleaning device. I must say, I despise the way you <laughs> vacuumed up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother inside the painting. This effect creeped me out as a kid. Right though, how especially that part. How it becomes a Bowser. Kind of reminds me of in Super Mario 64 when the Peach painting becomes a Bowser. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure they were reminiscing that a little yeah. bit here, especially because that would scare the the living daylights out of Luigi. Yeah, and, and Super Mario 64 was the last big Mario game before this one came out. Mm hmm. Speaking of which, this is also the first time we see this. He, he looks pretty badass. Yeah, the like, the, this was the first time we actually got a good look at Bowser's new model. The, like, modern iteration. Of, like, they still... Bowser still has basically this design in most games. Absolutely. Alright, I gotta be careful here, because th this boss fight is actually kind of tough. I actually kind of like that it's Bowser 2, in a sense, because, like... This is something that Luigi never really was able to deal with. Um, Super Mario, uh, Super Mario 64 notwithstanding. Well, I mean, if you were playing as Luigi in any of the 2D games, you could beat ah, Bowser that, the that same way as Mario, but... Yeah, having, having to fight Bowser with Luigi, ma Luigi's Mansion mechanics... Yeah, it's a little, it, it's, it's a little, tough. it's a little wonky. Oh dear, oh dear, I am trapped. <laughs> this game was not made for this. Yeah, this is a huge... But at the same time, I think that's kind of the point. There, there are no boss fights nearly as this hard in, in Luigi's Mansion. Mm -hmm. Ah, I got burned, but I still got him. Yeah, it's tough because the bombs have an area of effect that hurt you, too. Oh, snap! Yeah, that's right! He shoots ice! <sighs> Why ice? Because it's weird. Yeah, Bowser with ice powers? What? Now, I have so many questions. Because... I think they're implying that this isn't Bowser, it's like a Bowser suit. But Either a Bowser suit, like, the way I see it, like, it's basically an illusion. This whole thing here is an illusion. Because Clairvoya says she sees Bowser, and it's like, but that's impossible. He was defeated. Uh-huh. Like, but like, were they imp were they trying to imply that Bowser... Was dead? Was dead? Like, Mario killed him in battle and I mean it's not was... it's not the it's not the first and last time that Bowser was quote unquote killed. 
I mean, how many times has he fallen into lava? Yeah, Mario and, like, really... And, like, he's come back eventually. Mario doesn't really have permadeath. That's not really how it works. Ah, I couldn't get out of the way enough. I, I, yeah, I think... I think you can't be holding the bomb while he's doing that jump. You really right. won't be fast enough. I, I also do not want to get caught in that uh, inhaling ability that he has, because that's his most... That's easily his most damaging ability. Yeah, and he'll immediately follow it up with fire, and he won't be able to get away from it. Oh. Ah. Okay. Yeah, th this is a tough fight. You're about halfway there. Uh-huh. Wait, was but I'm I, also halfway there. Was I wrong? Did he have 400 health? Yeah, no, he has more health than the last boo, actually. Okay. Um, a wiki that I read lied to okay, me. Okay, he's going to jump. Yeah, the, the tough thing is you need him to, like, stay still and give you enough distance after he throws the bombs, and you kind of need a lot of things to line up just perfectly to get a like shot. That, like yeah. that, And that doesn't always happen. And you get impatient and you jump the gun. Yeah, and while him. I'm trying to, like, get him into the poltergust, I have to keep on moving, otherwise uh, I'm going to get shot by that ice. Oh, you're doing good, though, now. You're... Yeah, there. I, I had the strafing motion right down right there. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Heads on backwards! This is kind of, like... That, that, that was a little surreal. This is kind of nightmare fuel for me. Not because it's literally scary, but just, like, I didn't think I was going to see that today. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I like about the dynamic between, like, Mario and Luigi and, like, King Boo and... Or Mario, Mario and Bowser and King Boo and Luigi is that, like... Bowser is a brute for all intents and purposes, so he goes uh, up against Mario, like, straight. He doesn't pull any... Like, he doesn't try to pull any cheap tricks all too often. He, he'll fight Mario on his own terms, whereas King Boo, for all intents and purposes, doesn't fight fair. I, I, he will use tricks, he will use illusions to uh, take down Luigi. Which is interesting, because if Bowser went straight at Luigi, and if King Boo went... Uh, went and did the tricks against Mario, they wouldn't stand a chance. I mean, if it was a Luigi's Mansion game, yeah, because for, so, for some reason Luigi can't jump in Luigi's Mansion games. <laughs> Interestingly enough. But there we go. Whew, that was tough, too. Hey, you got it, though. L Luigi, Luigi, you did it. Truly remarkable, my boy. I supplied the Poltergeist 3000, but you ran with it all the way to the top, Sonny. You've made me so... So proud! <coughs> oh, get a hold of yourself, Gad. <laughs> What's that? You found King Boo? I did. He jumped into a painting of Bowser, you say? He even blew fire at you! Yeah, real scary stuff. How does Mario do it? Well, well. In all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastical tale! Was all of that even real? I wonder. And that career spanned 60 years, mind you. Why, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say! You were scared of ghosts? Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes recollecting every now and then. I could still... I could sit down a, a few... <clears throat> I could sit down and fill a week spinning ghosts' yarns. Why, just last week. Uh, right, well, anywho, <laughs> Luigi. Grab your brother's painting and bring him to the lab. You got it. <laughs> the poor little fellow's fallen asleep. He must have just collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. I'll get the machine ready to return your brother to return your brother to his former state, alrighty? I'll be expecting you both. It's finally over. Interesting that in the newer games you kinda just need to like touch a portrait and it deportrifies. But in the first game, like, Egad had to run it through a machine. Well, I... Okay, so the the latest games have that black light that causes... Oh, that's true. That causes uh, things to come out of paintings. I imagine that that was the advanced version of the Ghost Portrificationizer. Yeah, I think you're right. Or Deportrificationizer. Deportrificationizer. Well, it's the Portrificationizer, uh, but he's also said it goes in reverse. It, it, it's not important. Yeah. And it's not in portrait. Mm. This will mess with your head. All your hard wor work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. There you go. That answers that question. question. 
The mansion those booze built disappeared into the night, but that treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff, so go on and keep it all. Use it however you like. Say what? Enough rattling on about money. I guess we'd better get your brother back then. Of course. Your brother's really important, but first we have to take care of these last ghosts. And there we go. Yeah, because this is re -portrific. Oh my! It's re -portrificating? Or just portrificationizing. Yeah. But with Mario, we need to de -portrificationize. Yes. That, it has like five more syllables than it needs. I, I, I love how this is the case where it's like, it, like you can see uh, Bowser and King Boo silhouettes there instead of just the regular ghost yeah. silhouette. Alright, there's Jarvis. And Soupy. Uh, Van, Van Gore. Gore. Got some gold frames in there. Grim. Grimly. The soldiers. Um, oh, I forget his name. Hmm. I'd wager dollars to donuts that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. <laughs> Yeah, I think we only got the bronze on King Boo, but... Yeah, but you know what? That's fine. Again, like, I was more concerned about just winning. Yeah, give us that money! Look at that. I mean, I don't remember how much we need, but... Mm, 108 million. Damn. And that combines with what we got on the first three sections. Or no, is that total? No, it looks like that was total. why but I just I really like this Aww, that Luigi. little tear that little tear gets me he's just so deliriously happy to see his, bro his brother's okay but at the same time like Mario looks like an idiot right now that is a great ending. That's all we needed. And, and there we go. Yep, that's that's Luigi's Mansion 1. After the credits, we'll see how good of a mansion we get at the end. Yep. So, yeah. Um, as we were discussing earlier while this while these credits uh, were rolling, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Joe for suggesting this game um, that uh, we go through for the Q&A. I think that actually turned out really well. Yeah, good Let's Play material. Um... So on that note, uh, first order of business, I'd like to ask you guys, um, what should our next Q&A game be? Um, cause... We have a lot of games. Yeah, there, there's a lot of games we can play. There's a decent chance I have it. Yeah. Um, but again, like, it's one of those cases where it has to be a game that doesn't require us to think so hard. Yeah. Um, cause, cause we wanna, we wanna be able to think about questions. Yeah, the advantage stuff. we had here is that this game encourages a lot of exploration and just like, you know, just looking around. Um, which I was able to do just fine and answer questions at the same time, so I wasn't, uh, too bogged down in my mind for that one. Also, if you ask the question in the comments of one of the Luigi's Mansion videos, there is still a chance that we'll get to it and use it in the next one. Uh-huh. Our, our general, our general consensus on, like, picking what questions we, uh, want to, uh, answer pretty much stems from, uh... It's usually, like, five episodes back. Yeah. We're, we're usually, usually answering there. questions from five episodes ago. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, keep the questions coming, guys, and, like, ask questions here. We will uh, use questions uh, from this episode as well, if you have any. Um, on that note, um, overall opinion on this game, dude? It's 
See, I don't know how to, like, rank its quality anymore because it's just so nostalgic for me, but I think it's just, it's a game that's so much what it is and does it well that it, it, it it's a fine wine. Like, like, it hasn't gotten worse with age, it's just gonna stay good. I completely agree. Like, the, the main thing about this game that really tickles me is just its genuine nature. Like, it knows what it wants to do, does it, and as a result, I think this game has aged incredibly well. And so, the matter of the ghost was settled. Professor Egad was so delighted to have all of his paintings returned that he used the treasure Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house! Congratulations, your mansion is complete! Rank A! Okay. Not bad. I think there is a rank S. There is a very difficult to get rank S. Yes. Which is like doing the game almost perfectly. Which is really, really hard. But you know what? For some, for a couple of guys who are answering questions while and just going through this game casually, rank A is pretty darn good. Yeah. I kind of wish they, like, continued that factor into the later games and Luigi just had this mansion in, in the sequels, you know? <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, all Luigi gets to keep is the dog after the second game. Yeah, the polter pop. But, yeah, no, like, I really, really like this game. I thought it was great. And this was fun. This yep. was a lot of fun. So, thank you guys for joining us for the finale of Luigi's Mansion. Next time, we honestly don't know what we're going to play. Yeah, but, something else. But the Q&A series is going to continue. So, uh, give us your suggestions, guys. Give us uh, what you think would be really good games to do Q&As on. Until then, see you next time.